Hello, I'm excited to welcome you to the Open Heavens Devotional Daily Review Podcast. And on this podcast, we review the Open Heavens written by our dear Father in the Lord, Pastor Hiye Adebuye. On this podcast, we also share insights from the Open Heavens and we pick out lessons and points we can learn from this lesson. I am your host, Adele Kombolane, and I welcome you to today's episode of the podcast. May you be blessed. Today, October 17, year 2024, the title of our Open Heavens for today is Your Spiritual Father. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, we say thank you for strength, for grace for mercy and the privilege to be alive today lord be exalted in the name of jesus father lord we pray that as we study your word speak to us in the name of jesus father we pray that your word today will help us and will grace us in the name of jesus thank you father lord for in jesus precious name we have prayed amen a memory verse for today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15, and it says, For though ye have ten thousand instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers. For in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. A Bible text is from 1 Kings chapter 19, from verse 19 to 21. And I read from the New Living Translation. So Elijah went and found Elisha, son of Shaphat, plowing a field. There were twelve teams of oxen in the field, and Elisha was plowing with the twelfth team. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak across his shoulders, and then walked away. Elisha left the oxen standing there ran after Elijah and said to him, First, let me go and kiss my father and mother goodbye, and then I will go with you. Elijah replied, Go on back, but think about what I have done to you. So Elisha returned to his oxen and slaughtered them. He used the wood from the plow to build a fire to roast their flesh. He passed around the meat to the townspeople, and they all ate. Then he went with Elijah as his assistant. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us go into the content of the open heavens for today. Many people do not take the issue of who their spiritual father is seriously. Some people say that they have multiple fathers. Such people are bastards because no human being can have more than one father. The role of your spiritual father in your life is very important, even though Elijah said that Elisha, his spiritual son, had asked for a hard thing. He practically committed God to give a double portion of his spirit to him. 2 Kings chapter 2 from verse 9 to 15. That is a good example of the role a spiritual father can play in a fellow's destiny. If you claim to have a spiritual father, you must do some things to prove it. If you are disobedient to your spiritual father, you are not his true child, and you cannot get the things that you expect to get from him. Also, a grown-up child will take care of his parents. If you don't sow anything, either in form of service or material resources, into the life of your spiritual father, God will not recognize that relationship. 2 Kings chapter 3 verse 11 says that Elisha poured water on the hands of Elijah. That is what made their father-son relationship valid and qualified. Elisha to get the double portion of his father's spirit. One night during my prayer walk, some people met me and asked me to pray for them. For them not to disturb my prayers, I simply told them, God bless you. As I went further, a fellow who was driving a bus 
passed by me and stopped. He took the little money he had in the bus, ran to me, and gave it to me. That time, when I said, God bless you, it was from the depth of my heart. The money was not much, but it showed that I am truly his father, so he could get something from me. When Isaac asked Esau to prepare food for him, it was not because he was hungry or that he could not afford to feed himself. He was telling the young man, spoil me so that I can bless you from my heart. There are blessings that come from the heart of your father. Such blessings can never be reversed. As we see in Genesis 27 from verse 33 to 37. Do what will make your spiritual father so willing to bless you that even if what you ask for is beyond his control, he will commit God to give it to you. Hallelujah. We bless God for the word of God that he has sent to us today, talking about a spiritual father. A spiritual father, I, I believe that the role of the spiritual father is very important. And the role of the spiritual father should not be anything outside the role that God has called our spiritual fathers to play. And what do I mean by that? Many times, people take the spiritual father relationship and they take it to a level where they do not allow the Holy Spirit to be their guide. And sometimes people tend to idolize the spiritual father. But what the Father and the Lord is saying here is that your spiritual father is just like a father, like your physical father, your biological father. And the role of the spiritual father is to be that spiritual guide that you need. It is not everybody that is born into a family where their parents know the Lord. For people that have parents who know the Lord, I know many people who have both their spiritual parents and their biological parents as their spiritual parents too. Because their parents are also spiritual and they understand the things of the Spirit and God has helped them to guide those children in the right path that they should go. So, the role of the spiritual father is very important, but we must always remember that it is not meant for us to idolize the spiritual father but to see them as a representative of God on earth that is God uses to guide us and God has placed in as authority over us. And I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Our action point for today. Do something special for your spiritual father or mother today to spoil him or her. A hymn for today. When we walk with the Lord, and a Bible in one year is from Mark chapter 12 to 13. 